So I'm gonna first show you both some um, bad cover-up tattoos. Okay. Ones. Okay. Are any of your tattoos cover-ups? Oh yeah, all of them. All of them. All right. So we want you to judge these people's cover-ups and see what you think. Yeah. I like the old tattoo better. Like One you should have left it. Like <laughs> yeah. should have left it the way Probably that it was, was even. Yeah. Like it was better before. <sighs> you you get what you pay for. Well, they covered it. It's not really a cover up if it's not covered up, right? It's a tattoo on top of another tattoo. I think that this person actually went to the same person <laughs> that did the first tattoo at the beginning. The cabbages are, are not covering anything up. It's a traditional black and gray trying to cover something that is black. They didn't take advantage of the surrounding skin to bring some you know, less cover-up-ish looking elements into it. Because now you'd have to cover up a cover-up or just cut your arm off, you know? This booby Hello Kitty is hilarious. You know, I've never seen a leopard crow ever, and that is really spot on. I don't want to be mean to anyone's tattoo. Right, right, right. Oh, it's like a crying dick. <laughs> I, 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 I. Looks like a dripping. Those penis. look like balls. Looks like a black dick. It's a large penis. <laughs> <laughs> With blood coming out of the end. Drip drips. Oh. Blood. Drip drips. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like an elephant trunk with sad eyes? It looks like they repeatedly beat their client. It's like a, a, a penis with a, a big penis with eyes. I guess I feel as though it's supposed to be a nail going into the skin. It's like, oh, what? if the Loch Ness Monster had a penis, because it's green, <laughs> like Godzilla. It's like a frozen turd popsicle. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Oh shit, it's a dildo with eyes dripping and blood. She's on her period but she's also squirting because there's blue drops. It's like Eyeball, a- Same thing. <laughs> what are they called, Egyptian goggles? Egypt, what is that? <laughs> I when feel like that's something I'd look up on like a- Look it uh, up. Urban Dictionary. <laughs> that looks like one of the monsters from All Real Monsters. The ones that's like black and white striped and she's got the big lips, but like the bastard son of her. Yeah, I mean, the cool thing is that it's so strange and it's, it looks almost like it's abstract and it, that's the way it is. I don't know, man. That's a little bit of a cop-out because he's just taking the shape of the actual cover-up and just blasting over it, which in any sense for a cover-up is just straight up a cop-out. Really though, where do you guys find these, these photos? Like, this is incredible. Wow. <laughs> that looks like an infection. <laughs> it's already infected. Yeah, void ass. Gets the point across. Again, I would have just left the first one. <laughs> i seen that a couple times, but it read. Again, laser would have been a great option, yeah, but here yeah. we are. <laughs> I don't know if it's, it's a cover-up. Oh, it, it just, just a stamp. <laughs> That's not even a cover-up. That's just rejecting a tattoo. Well, that actually makes sense. Uh, Badly enough, that's that's not a very well done, but I guess as a joke, you could think that was a fun thing to do, but that's always a good one. I like when it's, you know how they do it in red so that you could still see the name through it? I like when it's like that because then it's very clearly not trying to cover the tattoo. I think to some extent they were trying to cover it yeah. by how thick they did everything. I don't think that as an artist you would just come up with something like that for, for a cover up. I think it's a little lazy. I don't know if I'm allowed to say what I think it looks like. But... You don't like it? I don't think about it at all. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it's just like a faded star, like there's so many things you could put over that. I was just really doomed from the start. I have no comments for that. <laughs> Looks like this person's gonna have to get a third cover up. There's a spider in Australia that's called a trapdoor spider and it lifts its <laughs> legs up like that. It looks exactly the same. This guy is going on pure faith here. He's like, I'm just gonna throw a bird there and like, nobody's gonna see that, those points going out there. I, I mean, it's probably the best one that you showed me. Um, still uh, terrible. Yeah, that's a bad time. And they added some other shit to it? Yeah, I would have kept that star. I thought butterfly at first, then flower, but it's, yeah, I see the shape of the hummingbird. Do hummingbirds have four wings? Yeah, th that's the tail feathers. I think in that case, like, if you're not sure how to shade, just be like, this is a silhouette. Just make the whole bird just a black silhouette. It would have looked better than just kind of like smudging in color. Like he did okay on the flower. 
He did all right, right? Like you could work at a shitty street shop. Oh, I was about to say that flower. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, but okay. what the fuck happened up top? What is that? Is that a flower? Is that a bird? Oh, is that a butterfly? It's a, it's a hummingbird. You know, some people think that solid black is a way to cover things up, but usually you'll see a ghost of it through, especially when they're that scarred. So you kind of need to use texture and detail. Like if you did a full color hummingbird with all the feathers all rendered out and everything, you could actually hide that star really well. But by going solid black, uh, it's, it just, again, piles worse on top of bad. Okay. So laser is always an option. <laughs> yes, definitely get laser first. <laughs> it's covered. It's covered. Yeah, that's a, uh, terrible. It looks like it was covered up by the same guy that did it in the first place. Oh, what else would you do? So we're going from a mess to an even bigger mess. I don't need, I don't know what, not sure what it is. Okay, that was bad before and after. I mean, it really just cut the arm off. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like the same artist came back and, I use the term artist very loosely here, came back and just kept thrashing around there. Yeah, that's also pretty gnarly. I mean, like, they should have just blacked their arm out for sure. I guess just, you know, just you, you're going to see a guy with the black half sleeve and that's going to look more attractive. The tribal's supposed to have a float, and that is like, you took flow out of the equation and just was like, you know what looks good? Black. Black looks good. I like black. <laughs> like, well, you just like, you, you know, you're just trying to put shit on shit, you yeah. know? So then you just got more shit. It's very hard to do something good with tribal. I feel most of the times I tell clients, get the tattoo a little bit lighter. You know, once it's lighter, we have other options so we can be more creative instead of just doing that. Is that tattooed or just marker? Uh, no words for that one. I'm dyslectic, so this doesn't bother me at all. I hope this person is too embarrassed to show their tattoo. Oh, that much better. <laughs> much better. <laughs> much oh better. My God. You could die tomorrow, I guess. I guess, yeah, if you're gonna die tomorrow, who gives a fuck what tattoo you get? I bet the client was like, I just really like stars. Like, just, can I have more stars? Reach for the stars. That's what, I would have left the other one because that's, that's a pretty good story. Like, it looks like the plan for a cover up, but it's, it's tattooed. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit of lack of imagination for those, for those cover ups. I don't even know what to say about that either. <laughs> like, what, what was, what was the intention of, uh, you know? They nailed it. No. No, we need this guy in our shop, like immediately. <laughs> yeah, I'd hire him. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, just throw more stars on there. It sounds like the best idea. That's shit. Cover ups, throw stars on there. They just, did they just give up and <laughs> they just added stars and then like big old Sharpie across it. Nah, forget it. It's a very common mistake. You spell check. I can't spell either. I always double check and I make my client write out what they're going to get and initial it before I tattoo it on them. Uh, yeah, that's shit. It's a, it's a cover up. It's one way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Stenciled that out, huh? <laughs> Again, I like the original better. You know, it wasn't easier to fix it, but it's the client's choice, I guess. I mean, if it's a cover up, it worked. It... <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> really? If you have the plan to have the whole back in black, <laughs> Maybe it's a good start. Maybe she could do like a circle of black next to that and then a triangle of black could but be like a covered. whole shape thing <laughs> going on. You, you saw this one pop up a while ago, right? No, I never No, seen you it. never seen this one? To no. me, this one is one of those things where it's like, it's so bad, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> like, the square is like so perfect. It's like, yeah, you nailed it. That's... Again, laser is always an option. <laughs> but you know what? I've no. had people ask that, to do that. and. They... I, I'm surprised someone actually went through with that. There's no excuse. Look at it. It's light enough that you could clearly cover you could it do something. with something better. Other than a black square. I actually don't mind this because I like really thick black work and I think that just looks kind of cool. Like just a random black square like that on an old lady's back kind of looks like a badass move. The only thing cooler than a real good tattoo is a tattoo like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've seen some people that look like that. <laughs> Does it have boobs? This is like a boob job gone wrong. And well, all of that's gonna fall out like tomorrow. Milf? Milf? I thought M muff? M oh, muffle. M-U-F-C? No, it's muffk. M-U-F-C. The hand placement of the devil makes me think that he's kind of having a fun at it. Oh, it, his, his whole torso is very scrote-like and his arm is a penis, correct? Yeah, I don't know. He <laughs> he got tattooed by the devil, obviously, because that shit is ugly as fuck. Besides the problems of saturation, 
and the face is a little bit, you know, off. First of all, guys, when you do a tattoo, if you're gonna get a cover-up, make sure it's facing the right direction. It should face forward, not backwards. Oh yeah, it's facing Even. the wrong direction. But yeah. like, that's the least of its problems, I yeah. feel like. That could have been done better. It's not, it could have been kind of cool if it was like done right. This would have been so easy to cover with almost anything, you know? I mean, there's a lot of cover-ups I think people overthink. They, they go too dense, too dark, uh, too messy. And you could actually do a nice tattoo on top of that and it would just disappear. I hope I don't know any of these people who who have done these tattoos because I'm going to unfriend you and stop talking to you. And if you see me, please send me some hate on Instagram just so I can go and check your page. What the fuck are you doing to people? <laughs> Where do you guys find these photos? <laughs> What is it? Is that the exorcist? What even was it before? Oh my god, that's a face. Face, yeah. So considering I just got like a five minute explanation of what I'm even looking in a picture, we can say this is a quite failed attempt. Where are these people tattooing? Like their house? Seems like it had potential. Not There's finished, effort, right? Yeah. yeah, they kind of used the pedal. <laughs> they there. used, you know what, they were trying. It's they really did. Way. It's not finished. Yeah, it's just, it's Polishing a turd with another turd, just smearing turds on turds. Poop sandwich. I hope this is the first session also, <clears throat> you know, like the first hour. And later, you know, I continue doing something else. You know, it's unfinished. If that thing actually got finished, it might be a passable cover-up, but it's too, too undeveloped to really judge. I really like the lined leaves at the bottom, suggesting that they're going to go back. <laughs> so, my, my answer is just get laser removal, you know, invest yeah, every into time. your body, you know. You know. Yeah. I'm just concerned about how the tattoo, you're, uh, you're going to read the tattoo from a distance. I'm looking at the photo that is very close and it kind of like seems like it's working, but still it's like solid, solid black. You're not going to be able to tell what it is in, in a couple, in like six months or a year. To most people, it's gonna look like it's shit, but I actually think this guy is probably genius. I think we have entered the era where tattoos are conceptual, and this guy is trying to make fun of the concept that two negatives do a positive, because this thing is a disaster.